Here's a quick and easy Genshin Impact build guide on how to build your Linny. For weapons, Linny's signature weapon, the first great magic, is hands down his best in slot choice. Its compatibility with his playstyle makes it a no-brainer. The Aqua Simulacra is another great option due to its high crit damage substat. You can also use other 5-star weapons as alternatives like the Thundering Pulse, Skyward Harp, Hunter's Path, and Amos Bow. For some 4-star weapon alternatives, Very Decent Hunt and the Blacklift Bow can all provide high crit stats and serve as viable options, while the Prototype Crescent is a good, craftable, free-to-play option. The new Battle Pass weapon, Scion of the Blazing Sun, seems to be a good weapon as well, but I currently don't have it, so I have no solid opinion on this one yet. For artifacts, use the highly recommended 4-piece Marichossi Hunter artifact set. This set synergizes incredibly well with Linny's playstyle, maximizing the stack of his prop arrow hits and boosting his charge attack and crit rate. For those looking for alternatives, the 4-piece Lava Walker set is worth exploring. It aligns perfectly with Linny's Ascension 4 passive since you want all enemies to be affected by Pyro. Plus, if you've been farming in the Crimson Witch domains, chances are you already have some Lava Walker pieces in your inventory. Another option to consider is the Vermilion Hereafter set. Although it requires a slight adjustment in your combo where you have to burst first to trigger its effect, this set can be quite powerful for Linny since he deals damage to himself which takes advantage of the Vermilion Hereafter buff. If you're looking for more options, the Wanderer's Troop set is a solid choice with a 35% charge attack damage bonus. Additionally, you can experiment with two-piece mix of Marichossi Hunter, Crimson Witch of Flames, or any other two-piece set that provides an 18% attack bonus, especially if you already have great substats. Artifact main stats would be Attack Sands, Pyro Damage Bonus Goblets, and either Crit Rate or Crit Damage Circlets. Prioritize crit damage since Linny already receives a crit rate boost from his ascension, so you may not need much crit rate. For constellations, if you are not going for C6, C3 is Linny's best constellation in my opinion. It boosts his normal attack by 3 levels, providing a significant power upgrade as charge attacks make up the bulk of Linny's damage. For talents, focus on his normal attack first, followed by his skill, and finally, his burst. For ascension passives, Linny's first passive grants him the ability to see Fontaine unique resources on the minimap. His second passive provides additional energy and damage when firing a prop arrow. We'll talk about how that works in the next section. And his second passive increases Linny's damage if the enemy is on fire and if he has more pyro teammates in the team, with a maximum of two pyro teammates. For playstyles and combos, Linny's attacks can be summarized into two specific things, charge attacks and hats. If you do a level 2 charge attack, if you have more than 60% HP, Linny will lose 20% of it to gain a prop charge. That's the number beside him that shows up. The higher the prop charge, the stronger the heal and damage his elemental skill can deal. With a full HP and no healer, Linny can at best do 2 charge attacks to gain 2 prop stacks. Doing a level 2 charge attacks also drops a hat, and that deals amazing pyro damage as soon as it expires. If you have no constellations, you can have at most one hat in the field. Dropping another hat expires the previous hat. Hitting the hat with an elemental skill immediately expires a hat. His burst turns Linny into a giant cat in a hat and at the end of the duration, or if manually cancelled, drops a hat and grants another prop stack. So your common combos are usually like this. Assuming you have full health, fire off two level 2 charge attacks to gain two stacks. Cast your burst then the elemental skill to heal off the missing HP and detonate the last active hat. For teams, one teammate that stands out is Bennett. His healing abilities and flat attack buff bonus makes him an excellent battery and support for Linny, who tends to be on the squishier side. In terms of offensive support, Kazuha takes the cake. Not only does he offer an elemental damage buff, but using him with a 4-piece very decent Venereer set can help him shred enemy pyro resistance. Animo units including Venti and Sucrose are also great choices due to their crowd control abilities. Don't overlook Lynette either. I've been testing her with a sacrificial sword and she can provide pyro damage at a pretty consistent rate, making sure enemies are on fire. Her clean rotations make it easy to switch between characters without interrupting combos. Other sub-DPS options include Shangling and Albedo, especially when paired with a defensive Zhongli for double geo resonance. For defensive support, Zhongli is still on the top of the pack. You can even use a quick swap C4 Yanfei for shields. However, Leila, Kirara, and even Xinyan are preferable options in my opinion. Dia, despite not being a shielder, is also a good pick because she absorbs damage and has interruption resistance. So team setups are usually Linny, Bennett, an Animo character like Kazuha, Lynette, Sucrose, or a sub-DPS character like Albedo and Shangling. The last slot is usually for a defensive unit like Zhongli, Xinyan, or Dia. The more you know, follow and subscribe for more videos.